Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Funny Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today, I'm going to be showcasing an interesting thing that a lot of you have probably been curious about. My alt, my little overlay might be a little bit weird right now. That's just because I'm about to tab out and show you something kind of interesting. I've had a lot of people ask me, how the heck do I get spools? I've been waiting so long. I've, of course, showed multiple different videos on this. I've talked about how to get free uh, clay points, which turn into spools. I've showed how to actually get free spools right now for going and clicking on a link uh, that Clay put out that gives you 850 spools. Um, I have also showcased easy ways of actually obtaining spools by just playing the game and multiple other ways. Today, I'm going to showcase a simple, easy, quick way if you have, of course, a chance of actually getting some money on your Steam account. Now, as you know, when it comes to Don't Start Up Together, certain things cost spools in order to weave, especially when it comes to an elegant skin, like something like this for Wickerbottom. You want to go ahead and get yourself an elegant uh, character skin. It's 1,350 spools to weave. And of course, other items are a lot less if you just want like a distinguished or a rare or whatever. The thing is, is that of course, spools are not easy to come by unless you're unraveling a ton of stuff. In this situation, there is an easiest way to get spools and the fastest way to get spools. And that's what I'm about to show you right now. The thing is that when it comes to Steam specifically, if you do not have a purchase on Steam, I believe you need one purchase or two purchases on Steam. I think it's just one. Steam will not let you actually sell or purchase stuff from the marketplace. And what is Steam's marketplace? Well, marketplace is where people sell and trade and, well, not trade, but sell and buy skins for pretty much Steam money. So the way that it works is if I own said skin, that is actually allows me to buy or sorry, to sell it on the marketplace, it'll show an icon like this in your Don't Start Together. And I will showcase this in another video as well because I've had a lot of people ask me and been like, okay, how do I do this? Because I really want to know how. I'm sick and tired of not knowing how to sell items. Um, so uh, I will show you how to do that in a video after this. But nonetheless, it's pretty straightforward. If you see this icon right here, it means you can purchase a skin or sell the skin. When you click on it, you will get redirected to Steam where it'll tell you how much it's currently going for and you can decide to sell it. So if for some odd reason you have actually obtained a skin in Don't Starve Together that could get you a specific amount, you will be able to get a lot of spools from doing so by following the next steps. So one of a few ways, you have money on Steam. So let's just say you have money already there. You put $10 on, $10 will go a long way when it comes to spools and Don't Starve Together. Next is you can also sell skins as long as you've made a purchase on Don't Starve Together, uh, or sorry, a purchase on Steam, you'll be able to sell and trade stuff on Marketplace like I mentioned before. That's netting you some money or on your Steam account if you decide to sell a skin here that you might not use. So you can browse around Don't Starve Together and say, hey, how do I sell a skin? Okay, here you go. It's a little icon here. You might get 25 cents. The next one might give you 30 cents, etc. And then eventually you'll build up. What you need to get is exactly $1.15. And let me tell you why this is actually the way to do it. Currently, Winona Heirloom Edition for the, uh, the Nona Gecko Head is the lowest heirloom edition elegant. Why heirloom specifically? Because heirlooms are going to net you 1,350 spools just by unraveling it. Yeah, that's a lot of spools. How do you get heirlooms? Well, the way that heirlooms are actually obtained is if you decided to have a regular uh, elegant and then the character got refreshed, well then after that, every one of those skins are now becoming an heirloom because Clay basically said, hey, guess what? We're gonna make it even more special for having the skin. That is why right now the best heirloom addition is an elegant trick or treat chest. This is pretty crazy because this skin obviously got deemed um, heirloom elegant at the fact that, of course, if you're looking to have 100% completion, which some people are, they will purchase this skin in order to complete it. The reason why this happened is because uh, I believe some other people had it. Uh, now it's an, just, you can just get it as a regular elegant. But anyways, so previously, uh, if you had, for example, the Guest of Honor skins, they are a lot of money right now. So if you want to net a ton of money on there, I don't think I have one Guest of Honor skin that ended up being an, um, an heirloom. But anyways, nonetheless, if you want to sell it, now would be the time to do so. And when you click on here, it'll tell you how many of those sold. Anyways. So all you have to do is purchase the lowest heirloom 
and elegant at the time it might right now it's currently the winona one for a dollar and 15 of course i'm canadian it might be like 90 cents us i don't know might even be 80 cents might be even less. I don't know. But anyways, you purchase one of those. You go back into your Don't Starve Together. You decide whichever one you obviously have purchased. If it's the Winona skin, right now I'm in the Wicker Bottom. But for example, I have a ton of uh, my Maxwell skins. Then I can go down here and I can unravel it. One of the ones that I just purchased. Let's just imagine this is the Winona one that I just purchased. And I'm going to receive 1,350 spools. I'm not going to do this because I'm saving this for another thing. But anyways, that's what you do. You would unravel it and boom, for a dollar fifteen, you now have 1,350 spools. That is the quickest and easiest way to get spools other than what I've already showcased how you can get them from basically free things like free clay points, playing the game to get skins in the game, and all that other stuff. There you go. That's the fastest way of doing it. This video was a little drawn out. I was going to make it a two minute video and just go like, okay, do this, do this, do this. But then people probably would, would ask questions as to why I'm doing it and the steps uh, to take them accordingly. Anyways, that's how you do it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.